Weeks four winner of Agrigold Feeding Farmers is Don Tharp. We're just on the edge of Warren County. Don, first of all, congratulations, and we're in front of a field that looks like you got a pretty good start on the beans. How would you say spring went for you here on the Black Walnut Farms? Well, we sort of had a false start. We got going, and then the weather turned bad on us, and we had to hold off. So I'd say on the average, we're probably about a month behind uh, what we would consider a normal year in this area. Once you got started, how'd the crop go in, though? Went in fairly well. We had a lot of wet spots you had to go around, some farms you had to wait on for quite a while. Uh, seems like every time you just got about ready, you'd get a little bit more rain. And um, uh, we had rented some new ground that was considerably wet, and we had to work on it a lot. But overall, it went in, like I said, about we're about a month behind. So the soil's wet. We'll see what happens. Now the field right behind it's got some pretty good black ground in it, about as good as it gets uh, for this area, but that's not all the way it is. You've got to farm them each differently. Tell us about that. Yes, we farm ground from here clear to Wilmington down through Blanchester tomorrow. So we have a complete variety of soils. Um, like I said, this is uh, uh, a zinnia type soil here. There's patent silty clay loam out there in the valley. Uh, and then we uh, phase on south into Claremont Avonburg soils which take a lot more management. Uh, you have to time being on them correctly. Very easy to make bricks if you try to work that too early. As you take a look at uh, where you are in the season, how would you describe your progress at getting uh, ready for the post-spring application? We're, we're quite ready. Uh, Mother Nature giving us a chance. We're going to be nailing some weeds here now. Uh, side dressing's done and so we're going to be after them. We've actually gotten onto these and started killing them. So. Uh, that's our next project is the uh, eternal fight against the weeds and with this rain we're going to be getting them. I think you got one other project in there if I saw it right it looks like there's an awful lot of ground prep for a pretty good sized grain bin. What's happening there? Yes we're getting ready to pour Monday for a 48 foot bin about 11 rings high and then immediately another one. Uh, we're going to put a 120 foot leg up to feed those two bins and a dump pit so we've got quite a bit of concrete to pour. And uh, that's always a joy, especially when it gets about 90 and it sets up coming out of the truck. Well, that's never fun, but the bottom line is you're looking for on-farm storage that you can retain ownership a little longer and, and help to uh, make things profitable. And with what? How many people in the family are making a living from the farm? There are three families making a living here, and a lot of our grain goes to the river. Uh, some of it goes to Dayton Cargill. But most of it goes down to the river, and uh, they've been telling us for years that uh, we would be wise to build more grain storage. We have a lot of trucks in the fall on the road, and it's nice to be able to hold it. So we finally uh, went ahead with that project. There you go. I've been visiting with Don Tharp of Black Walnut Farms. We're on the edge of Warren County, and he's week number four winner in AgriGold's Feeding Farmers.